Bill, I don't know about you. I was considering staying in the you know the golf polo and the comfy oh, shorts, yeah. and but I guess we had to. You got to dress for the studio. You do. Yeah. It was, it was good out there today. It was terrific, and weather will be terrific for the next few days. Well, okay tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, when things really do get going, things look a lot better. Shall we get to it? Yes, I think we shall. All righty. There will be some showers around getting the day started tomorrow. It will be in the low 70s. This is a part of a cold front working, which is beginning to push its way through the area by lunchtime. We'll be at 80 at that point. You may start to see some sun, especially north of I-64. Shower and thunder shower chances are a little higher as you head to the south. By the latter part of the day, most of us should be drying out. A lot of us will start to notice lower humidity by the latter part of the day. It may take a good chunk of the day for that to get here, but it's coming. We'll be in the mid 80s. So let's talk about the rain that's been out there today. Here's some Track Live Doppler, how we tracked every little last drop of it. You do see that there is a batch of scattered thunder showers from Evansville past north of Louisville on up towards Cincinnati and then just little showers smattered across Kentucky at this point. That's getting closer to the cold front. This is just in the muggy air. So how did the day develop? We went through the latter part of the morning into the afternoon. You saw that line of thunderstorms come through, had some gusty winds. A little bit of damage occurred with that, some heavy rain and lightning. And again, the movement of these from northwest to southeast. Tomorrow, we are tracking a clearing cold front coming through the area. What does it do? Well, for the start of the Barbasol, it makes it pretty as a birdie. By the end of the Barbasol, though, as we get you toward the weekend, that might be a water hazard. We'll talk about all that coming up. Normal high 86. We stay there through the middle of August. Today we're 86. Tomorrow should be right in that same ballpark. Low 80s for us on Wednesday. That's with lower humidity too. For Friday, or excuse me, Thursday, we're in the mid 80s, mid 80s again on Friday. Clouds and cooler headed towards Saturday. 75. It is muggy out there. Dew point at 71. Two thirds of an inch of rain today. So you look around, temperatures running generally mid 70s, although Louisville, the urban heat island there at 82. Frankfurt 77, so is Richmond. Jackson 73, so is Mount Sterling. Somerset comes in at 75. When you're looking at the moisture in the air, that's the dew point. When these numbers are in the 70s, it feels tropical. That's how we feel right now. It is sticky outside. Watch what happens tomorrow. We start you off, and it's good and muggy outside with those dews hanging around 70. Watch what happens during the day. Now, you're seeing these numbers decreasing to the north, pushing the moisture to the south. It may be a little quick on the timing, but you get the idea here that it's going to be drying out, and that's what will lead us into the latter part of the week. So let's take it to tomorrow morning. We've got a pretty decent overcast in place as we continue through the morning hours tomorrow. That overcast hangs around. There's 9 30, 10 o'clock. But you notice as we get you to the latter part of the morning, we begin to push those clouds south. More clearing begins to show up. And the day will be improving, although southern Kentucky, it may take most of the day to get there. Here's the setup tonight. Cold front still sitting up here to our northwest, low pressure up over Michigan. That front continues pressing southward tonight. By tomorrow morning, it's trying to cross the area as it does so. It doesn't completely clear, so we'll keep a chance of showers around into the latter part of the day again, especially to the south. But as we continue into Wednesday, big Canadian high builds in. It dries our air out. We do stay warm. That's the system that's going to eventually arrive here toward the end of the week, and that'll be your rain chance then. Scattered showers and thunderstorms around tonight, but scattered remains the operative word. We'll be in the low 70s tomorrow. Partly sunny, showers and storms will be ending as we go through the day. Less humid air comes in during the afternoon. Highs will top out in the mid 80s, wind shift over to the northwest. We look ahead to Wednesday and Thursday. You are looking at some great weather for the Pro-Am. And kicking off the tournament on Thursday, thunder shower chances begin again Friday late and unfortunately last into the weekend. Hmm.